Welcome back to Movement Project. This is the first edition of Try It or Trash It, where I'm going to review commonly used home exercise equipment and help give you a recommendation on whether you should add it to your arsenal. I'm going to be reviewing each product over five categories. Price, effectiveness, ease of use, safety, and functionality. In other words, how well does it carry over into everyday activities and sports? The first product I'm going to be reviewing is a slant board, which has gained a lot of popularity because of Ben Patrick's Knees Over Toe program and the effectiveness it has for increasing your vertical leap and helping reduce knee pain primarily associated with tendonitis. This is not an endorsement for any specific product, but just looking at the general idea of adding this type of product to your home exercise arsenal and whether you should try it or trash it. The Knees Over Toe program talks about strengthening your quads and hamstrings at a more accelerated level using the slant board. So the, the decline squat, if you watched my last video of reviewing the knees over toe exercises, I commented that you want to avoid going past 60 degrees when you're doing this squat. Doing that single leg reverse step up has really been shown to be effective for reducing knee tendonitis. One of the cool things that you can do with the slant board is you can really take your calves through a full range of motion when you're stretching and get more flexibility than you did before. If you've checked out some of my calf stretching exercises, you see I'm really big on adding rotation because our ankle moves in multiple planes when you're, when you're walking, running. So if you just stretch straight on, you're missing out on a huge percentage of mobility. So with the slant board, you can move the slant board back further to gain more stretch and add your rotation each direction and that's going to simulate normal ankle motion in a way that hanging off a step would not when I'm taking a stride running my foot is back behind me and that's where we need to have excellent ankle mobility I can work the ankle joint people will often call this a soleus stretch but really you're stretching the ankle ligaments out if you've had any history of ankle sprains, you can feel the difference. I've busted up my right ankle pretty bad in the past, so I don't have quite the fullness of range of motion on this right side. So mobility-wise, a ton you can do with the slant board. Going back to the strengthening piece, he also talks about the Jefferson Curl or doing a straight leg deadlift. You're going to get extra stretch. You do need to be careful when you do this exercise because by pulling your ankles up, you're putting increased tension on your nervous system. You're going to increase the tension in your sciatic nerve. If you have any type of back injury or history of back injury, I would definitely avoid doing a straight leg deadlift and even more so that Jefferson curl where you flex your back because that introduces even more tension to the nervous system on top of what you've already done by increasing the ankle mobility. So if we look at the slant board across our five categories, Price-wise, pretty good deal here. This particular product is somewhere in the $40 range. If you're looking to pick up a unit that's a little wider, so you can do a wider based squat, you'll want to go with something like the Slant Board Guy, which is going to run you more like $125, $130. Can be a little bit cost prohibitive. Effectiveness is strong with the Slant Board. Research shows that decline squat reduces pain associated with patellar or quad tendonitis and being able to take that ankle through a full range of motion like it does when you walk is also going to contribute to your effectiveness with this device. Looking at ease of use, it doesn't get much easier than this as long as you have a place to store it. All you have to do is place it down. This unit has a, a nice handle hold onto it if you want to use when you're doing some of your stretching just for, for safety. Uh, you could potentially use that for your decline squats if you feel like you're, you're concerned about your balance at all, it gives you something to hold on to, which is a nice safety add. If we look at safety, the main issue with doing a decline squat is going to be if you go beyond that 60 degrees of knee bend. So safety wise, if, you, if you're new to it and you keep it prior to 60 degrees doing, doing a, uh, a squat with less depth, safety wise you should be in good shape. Calf stretching, safety is tremendous, no issues at all with, with calf stretching using the slant board or ankle stretching. We mentioned the safety the potential safety issues doing the Jefferson curl or the straight leg deadlift uh, if you have a prior history of back injuries. 
this is smoother on the bottom, so if you're on a, a, a floor like this, this type of vinyl flooring, you're going to want to put something down, uh, like some TheraBand or some gripper type product that you would put in your cabinets to keep it from sliding. Uh, I think the Slantport guy is more of a rubber product, so you won't run into issues with the product slipping. That's why I place it on a rug to increase my safety. And finally, most important, functionality. How well does using the slam board cross over into your daily activities or your sport activities? Well, this bend at knees over toes has made it so clear, doing this decline squat is critical if you're looking to increase your vertical jump. Doing it one-legged or two-legged, you're going to be able to load the, the, the lower part of your quads much more so than you would with a typical squat. And when we talk about ankle mobility, there's nothing more functional than stretching the foot the way it would be in a normal gait cycle. So the slant board allows us to stretch in that normal functional gait sequence. So definitely thumbs up when it comes to functionality for the slant board. All in all, we're definitely gonna rate the slant board as a try it. If you're looking to pick one up, check out the link in my video description. If you wanna check out another video from my channel, click down below. If you wanna to subscribe to my channel, help me cut out unnecessary surgeries and opiate use, click over here. Remember, if you want to keep improving, you got to keep it moving.